first silver of the season. Yeah, yeah. Um, again, you know, after a, a, a good man, Dave Holland, um, God rest him. Um, but yeah, I thought I, I thought in terms of you know the occasion, it was good. Always such a warm welcome. The guys here are great. Um, but in terms of the game, I thought first half, I thought we were absolutely fantastic. Um, th th there's aspects of our game. I think we need to look at and work on, which we will do. Um, Thursday again, we'll continue to work on that. But again, uh, the, the big thing is, you know, how we finish. And I know we make a lot of changes near the end. Second half was very scrappy. Um, I thought we stopped doing the, the things we were doing the first half. We sort of got bogged down um, to their level in terms of, you know, nitty gritty and, and all that. While I want us to concentrate on getting the ball down and playing basically what we're doing first half. Mm. Um, so yeah, we, we made a couple of, again, couple of soft goals, very soft goals, but again, it's, it's aspects of the game we need to work on and, and we'll continue to work hard on that. Um, and again, there'll be, there'll be added additions to come in and, and help with that. Mm. Um, so yeah, it's, it, you know, it's, good to, it's good to get a win if you look at it from that side, but the most important thing for us was, you know, the players um, coming off the game unscathed, no injuries, yeah, yeah. Um, good workout. Um, as I say, you know, Brett and the gang, you see that, you know, they made a lot of changes, we made a lot of changes, so that can disrupt the flow of the game for us. Um, and, and again, another pleasing thing is you know getting some air supporters into the game, which was great. No, true enough. Yeah, you mentioned to Dan Gregory um, yeah. before today's game that the trialists had to impress you. Do you think any of them did? Um, uh, th th there's bits and pieces. There's you know areas that did and areas that didn't. Mm. Um, if I'm being strong, you know, if I'm always if I'm always asked to sort of uh, you know a question, I always answer it. Um, straight and you know not shying away. I think they, they could have done better. I think is the best way to describe it. Um, right. we, we have to make decisions on that because you know again I'm chatting to players you expect to hear from again this week. Um, so there, there's decisions being made. You know again speaking to um, relevant people, speaking to potential new players as well. Um, because again the league starts in a week and a half and we have to be ready for that. Mm. And I think if you know you look at the first half for example, we could have been six or seven up. Um, and yet you're going in half time 2-1 even though yeah it's a friendly and things like that but you have to show it ruthlessness because if we go into when we go into the league and, and, and start against um, Atherton, like, into, yeah. Atherton yeah if we go in there you know you, you, players in there at that level they'll be just ruthless against us mm. so what we need to learn to put the chat basically kill the game you can kill a game at half time if you you know if you score four five six you know, like the opportunities that we have you're basically blowing them out of sight and it'll be difficult but when you're one nil two nil up and you know again not putting the chances away it's giving the opposition hope yeah. Um, and effectively then the 44th um, minute they put an opportunity away and make it 2-1 so then it's a bit sort of squeaky bum time and we need to avoid them scenarios again but you know be good football continue to do what we do but being being clinical um, and yeah. being ruthless in front of goal and um, yeah but you know again other aspects of the game we need to work on um, you know just again nip picking but nip picking is very important we need to keep goals out you don't get see goals you don't lose games so mm. um, yeah it'll be another a lot of hard work again um, this week, you know, we'll prepare properly Thursday, work on aspects, you know, set pieces, you know, um, in possession, in possession, that type of thing, and look forward to what will be a, a good game, a, a very challenging game Saturday. Yeah, you're probably a bit bored with me asking questions about new players and things like that, but how far do you think you are away from your squad for the Allerton game? Oh, no, we're, we're, we're still a couple away, um, but, you know, every season we've always, we've always found it coming into sort of that last week, that last two, you know, players pop up. Mm. I think really a lot of it's to do with, you know, again, they're looking bigger money or whatever and, you know, they don't quite get it and then, you know, there, there's a bit of negotiation in the process and, you know, you end up getting a deal over the line, you know, as I say, I still think we're a couple off, a um, right. couple of them still pursuing. Um, one of them have pretty much agreed um, and that hopefully should be, you know, should be out there next week. Um, yeah. But um, hopefully, hopefully we can get another um, one or two more additions in. I think that then that'll make us good, solid, and strong. Get into that first game. At the minute, you know, plays with things, but you know, there's stuff that I'm not comfortable, and I have to sort of make decisions on um, pretty rapidly. Right, brilliant. Cheers, that does. Thank you. All. Well done tonight, mate. Yeah.